Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snup and today I am going to show you how to find out if you have any programs or viruses that's monitoring you on your computer and this being Windows computer. Now as long as you have command prompt this should work for you. There is ways to do it for other operating systems and if there is enough demand I might actually make a video for that but for now I'm just going to focus with with the um, Windows. Now, uh, one thing that this does require is you to have some understanding on what's on your computer. So, if you're using a public computer in like most literal sense of public, then that's one thing to keep in mind. So, as far as things goes, what you need to do first step is open up Command Prompt Windows 8, and uh, again, this is going to be in Windows 8, so things will look a little different. Just go to here, put in CMD. And you can go to here it, for previous or modified version of Windows 8 and go and CMD and, and click this. And you should see something like this. You don't have to have administrator rights to, to do this one. Now, I will have the, the code down below in the description. That way you can just copy and paste it in. But if you want to follow me, then just go ahead and type out net stat, one word and then a minus sign and a n o this may take a little while to to go on your computer so keep that one in mind and um I, i've seen it take about 30 seconds to get on some people's computer but if you got a newer or okay computer like mine then what where it's not great but it's okay then it'll take like no time so anyways as far as this goes this shows you pretty much everything that's trying to ping out to the internet and whatnot on your computer and um what what you need to look for is you got listening establish uh close way time way and some other stuff what you need to be looking for is established listening it's all right established means it's monitoring you now keep in mind don't freak out when you see this there's some things on your computer that's meant to be like that um there, there's system files not too many system files but there's antiviruses you know th things like that even browsers are, are meant to be that and what exactly is it monitoring is different so this doesn't show you what it sees this just shows you as ability to next you need to open up your task manager i got it right here but basically just right click on your task bar or whatever and go to task manager or control alt delete now for windows you need to go or windows 8 you need to go to detail and this will take you to this um a previous version i think all previous versions it's process so what you need to see is if you can get pid if you get something like this on a previous version, then Windows 8, just go, and if you don't see PID, go to View, and unfortunately I can't show you here because it's Windows 8 and they fixed this, but just go to View, and there's an op should be an option to select what you want to see, and make sure the PID is on. Now, as far as this goes, uh, I, I'm, you might have guessed this by now, we're looking for the PID, so you need to select that to just make it easier for you to find it obviously this is not uh, numerically like one two three this is jumping around so that's that's one thing you gotta keep in mind so the first one that we're gonna look for is try to find the lowest number one one five two so we're already in the one one five two google talk so that's meant to uh and and obviously with the video the whatnot and the and the IM and whatnot. That's kind of obvious on why that will have a monitoring. And here's an example of a system file. Try to find it again. 1616. And right here, 1616. Um, this may be listening, depending on how you have your computer set up. And sorry about that. As my manager get called once in a while. But as far as things goes, this just basically shows you what you, what what's looking at your stuff. So just go through this list. 
Now, when you do find something in particular, let's try to find one thing that I could take off. There's one of a few things that you can do. Um, I couldn't really find anything on this list that I can take off or am okay with taking off. But uh, there's one of a few things you can do. First thing is you can go to control panel by going to start doing that or obviously here and looking for the control panel and um, right there so anyways from here just go to uninstall program suck for your installation date on when you last installed it and uh, that way you get some idea and you can actually take off whatever programs if it need to be the next is if you can't find it on there then like say for example this let's go and this is a uh, dynamic DNN uh, D, yeah dynamic DNS and what you need to do is right click it go to properties give it a second or two and um, right here it shows you the actual area so from here what you need to do is copy this open up your computer um, by doing that or right here say my computer this PC or something like that go to here the address bar paste it in press enter and it takes you to the area you might find an installer here you do go ahead if you want to get rid of it, that is and um, if you don't then back out one and delete it and one thing to keep in mind is this won't 100% delete some things, but um, in order to 100% delete that, you need to figure out what this program is. And if it put any files anywhere else on your computer, then you can delete those files and um, delete this and go on your own way. Now, if you click on install, it should, it should do that automatically for you. So that's, that's one thing to keep in mind. If it's a virus, Obviously, it's not going to have an uninstall, or it shouldn't, so if, if um, the person was smart enough. And that's what I mean is, even if you do take it off there, you still need to look at places on your computer to figure out if it added any files, because yes, it might have said uninstall here, and you might have uninstalled and uninstalled it, but if the uh, program put a separate file somewhere else, most likely in the System32, then what will happen is the uh, virus will be there even though it looks like the program's off that program's still on or that virus side of the program's still there this doesn't happen that often if you're careful on what you're downloading and it's a great idea to have something like AVAS even if it's free scanning your files as you're downloading them and as you're as you're installing them that way you're you have left less of a chance it doesn't it completely get rid of that chance but it gives you a less of a chance that you have a virus so anyways this has been craig bennett founder owner tech views and help and if you do have any questions about this and um if you do run into any trouble at all with this feel free to let me know in the comment section and i'll try to help you out as best as i can if uh you got any help from this video or or whatnot then please like please subscribe and please share and again leave a question if you have any leave a suggestion if you have any you can email me on techfusionup.com that's a private email that goes directly to me and anyways i hope you have a great day